They collapse inside. When enough people, now if the human body has, depends on the weight, has a trillion and a quarter cells, human body. One cell can give you cancer. Well, a trillion, that's a lot left over. How come, how come one? You just need one of the right one. So a society doesn't need, everybody's not going to do anything. You know, what is there? Yeah, I don't have any way of knowing. But if there's not a stability, I mean, and that uh, majority sounds like democracy. Democracy is an epistemology. Uh, I'm a, a democratic capitalist, but that must be brought under the judgment of God. You see, because most of the world is socialistic, communist. And uh, see, if a person is Christian, well, they take care of people, that's all right. It's like uh, uh, Native Americans. You have, yeah, you have Native tribes in your town. Who is the boss? I'm not asking for names, but who? Chief. 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 Now that's socialism, isn't it? If the chief is a good man, everything's what? Good. His. Now let me take you quickly to this game there, New Mexico. There's a pipe in New Mexico. They have almost as many gambling places as uh, uh, Las Vegas, and that's one or two. Who gets all the money in that cultural structure? Tribes. This is true. You get a but who? The owners. The chief. If he's a good person, then they get schools and roads, and people are taken care of. If he's not. They seem not to care. He's bought. So it all depends on the nature of the person that's bossed. See, God is not a tyrant, but I believe he's sovereign. That's not a democracy. He doesn't counsel the tribes and color go to decision. But anyway, civilization. You can study civilization. Toynbee, they don't like Toynbee, but he has two or three volumes on the history of the world. And... Uh, Toynbee analyzes every culture. Western civilization is the 23rd and it's in trouble. But every one of them fell internally, not for more. So that's the clue that you could think can be going, but if the moral fiber, if the family, see, there are many things wrong with homosexuality, but it's a direct attack on the family. I don't need Jim Dobson to tell me the family's in trouble. God created the family. See, because when that unit goes, what goes in society? Now, your culture, that very powerful family relationship. See, what holds that, holds it together? What hope? Now, whether the rest of the culture comes unglued, your family's all right. There has to be some integrating whole, and God, see, a, an individual, an isolated person is, is completely cut off from any relationship. God created the family and marriage to be the solid pillar of culture. And when you undercut the family and marriage, well, I don't mean marriage, because the uh, man and female. Because you can't perpetrate the human race by what? Same sex marriage. As far as I know. Floating. <laughs> Cloning for Jesus, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see the implication of that? See, God created the family for solidarity. And when you lose solidarity, well, that's Native Americans, African, Chinese, Japanese, American, when you lose, and we're losing it by redefinition. What a family is. Supreme Court before it right now is a redefinition of what a family is. Well, that's, uh, that's really progressive, isn't it? Well, that's happened before. Divorce in the Roman Empire was rampant. Well, every culture that's done that, every or any culture that doesn't sustain the solidarity, thank you very much, I appreciate uh, Every culture that doesn't maintain solidarity in the family unit, that culture doesn't have long. And that's one of the reasons, one, you're going to be all right now? Check with him, call the doctor, you, you have access. Call me a taxi, all right, you're a taxi. All right. Anyway, 
the solidarity of any culture is its family unit. Not an individual unit because that's isolating radical individualism. But the solidarity, God says if enough families are whole, the culture will be what? Then if families are whole and families are in churches, the church will be what? And if families are dysfunctional and they go to church, what will the church be? Dysfunctional. That's where we are. Now, I'll just use my own, not you. I don't know what you do. But home in, in our congregation, about six, seven hundred people. They have 23 staff infection. And they have one Bible study and six private interests. You know, divorced people and kleptomaniacs and thieves. And they've got seminars for everybody. Oh, my God. They're all coming unglued, and all the people who go to those seminars are in need of help. <laughs> so I can't help them. But anyway, what, you, what the, even the church tries to do to speak to the range of dysfunctional groups. But we never ask, how did all of a sudden in culture, an advanced technological educational culture like we've got, how is all of a sudden the family unit is statistically doing what? I didn't say every family. It's in decay. Decline, let's use that word. Is that unfair? Is that too negative? See, it's, it, it's genetic. I mean, it's, it's epistemologically the case. So if it's, it's like going to the doctor and you don't like the report, well, you're too negative. <laughs> well, go to another one. He said, well, the last guy said you had a month to live and I think you've only got 10 days. Mm -hmm. Well, it gets worse every time I go to somebody, so quit going. But anyway, when the family, it's not just family week. It's the family of God. And that's how they're unified. And a real heartfelt family is what? Committed. If you get 10 or 12 people or 5 or 6 people and they all hate each other, what kind of family is that? You have a loony bin. Huh? But see, what implodes on, on family, youngsters that come along, what are two things that, uh, that implode? They just do. See, I've been to Africa. They don't eat regularly, but got a television set. And what's on, what's on the television? I mean, this is not false. This is okay. But what? Western trash. <laughs> see, they think everybody in the world is wealthy in America. Well, I know two people that are, but I keep all my money in change. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what wealth is. But anyway, whenever the family unit, family, but when you have to have a seminar on, uh, on divorce and marriage and collapse, that culture's in trouble. And if it goes to church, well, it'll go to church. Well, you can't tell that in church because everybody shows up and smiles. And then break the enamel on their teeth trying to grit. I think this is good. Don't like him at all. But we're here to worship God. He probably will look negatively about that. But uh, when the culture falls apart, now your culture, your, your own culture, when it's strong, what specifically is strong? Your family. Any culture, when it's really strong, and it's other institutions, when the family's strong, that culture's strong. When the family is not strong, the culture is not strong, then you have to wait, see how long, before the whole culture comes apart. But it can't go on. See, inevitability of progress, we'll put those four points. Classical liberalism was a direct attack on not just Calvinism, but I put that up. Uh, see, inherent goodness of man, well, that doesn't take sin, but sin after, after Freud and Marx, we'll take up those dudes this afternoon. Sin after Freud and Marx in the West was neurosis. That you need therapy, you don't need forgiveness, or you don't need atonement or anything. That's all garbage. That's religious Christian garbage. 